And uh, b- before we get off of just an idle thing, I did, it wasn't on this show, but apparently on the Ring of Honor final battle that he presented also over the weekend, um, Viking O, everybody was sending out the clip on Twitter and laughing. Uh, uh, some people were laughing about it. Some people were like, what the f-? Some people were like, you know, this is just sad. But apparently he's Mantar has gotten work now. He was wrestling Mantar because the guy was wearing a big giant bull head, right? That's what I saw. And Viking O is in the ring, and the other guy with the bull head is on the floor. And he's standing there looking at Viking O, who runs to the far side of the ring, hits the ropes runs back across the ring, jumps up to the top rope backwards, like facing into the ring, like he's going to backflip onto the guy with the bull head. But he doesn't get his balance, and he falls back into the ring, so he lands on his feet. He runs and hits the fucking far ropes again, runs back to the ropes in front of Bullhead, jumps up on the ropes backwards so he can backflip off, and loses his balance again and jumps back down into the ring. So then he turns around, grabs the top rope, (laughs) vaults up to the top backwards and backflips off that way. And the fucking guy wearing the bull head is still standing there waiting to catch him. And I don't know if, if this requires a lot of discussion or we should go into detail on this otherwise than what the fuck but i guarantee you that nobody when he went back to the back even said anything much less cussed him out or fired him which is what i would have done both you can screw anything up but when you then immediately (laughs) And not only go back to the same thing and expect your opponent to stand there like an imbecile and wait for you, but then fuck that up and then still want to do something. Every veteran in the world, if they had been talked into standing there to catch this moron in the first place, after the first time he bobbled it, they would have moved on the second one or they wouldn't have been there to begin with because they didn't, they knew how to keep from looking like fucking idiots. The man you're questioning is Black Taurus. Well, whatever he is, I don't give a fuck. Because he's an idiot. See, I don't care about him now because he's a moron. We've established that with his actions. And this other guy, as I said, they should have cussed him out, told him, you don't ever do that, you fucking moron. What were you fucking thinking? I would have fired him. Well, actually, I wouldn't have fired him because I'd have never hired him because he's fucking useless. And with that fucking stone face and that blank expression and that droop-lipped goddamn uh, that he fucking has in every goddamn match and every goddamn situation, the ridiculous outfit and this ludicrous choreographed gymnastics routine that he does in place of wrestling. But to do that, no, he should have been yelled at, reprimanded, And like I said, if not just fired for just, what the fuck? We can get anybody here that would be less stupid than you. Viking O. El Hijo del Vikingo. He's the son of Vikingo. He's a son of all right. Jump three times on the top rope if you suck. Fall on your ass and look like a goof. Oh, Viking O. Oh, no. Let's stop that. You know, it's sad. Ring of Honor does this Ring of Honor. Tony, under the guise of Ring of Honor, does this final battle show. The only two things, the only three things I heard about it were the Vikingo spot, the spot about Dax Harwood apparently leaving the ring during the match to go to some woman in the front row who was on her phone to get her to watch the match. (laughs) Oh, I I thought you were going to say he asked to make a call. No, he stopped her. Like, he got her off the phone to watch the match. (laughs) Well, good for him. And then Tony apparently announces a new Ring of Honor women's TV title, (laughs) which is funny because there's no Ring of Honor TV. So now they have a TV title, a new one for women, (sighs) with no TV show. 
and not enough, nearly enough belts and titles and championships and awards and leg lamps being given out. <laughs>